And what do you think the meaning of life is, Brian? Um, that's a very, very deep question. Mm. Um, For a guy who reflects a lot, let's go. <laughs> yeah, take a while to reflect there. Um, it's just in your opinion and just for you. It's not like a template for everyone's life. Yeah, I'm going to tell everybody how to live their life. Yeah, right there now. we go. No, no, no. Um, I don't know. If you think about it this way, right? Like, it, it's a bit grim to think about it this way. Love it. But, like, you know, when you're on, a death, on your deathbed, the only thing that you have left isn't, like, really the material things that you have in your life, but more so just all the experiences that you've had. So, you know, you can have all the wealth you can have but that's really not gonna be the last thing you're gonna remember when you get to the end of the tunnel right and i could be like oh yeah i have like three million in the yeah, bank yeah yeah flashback you know? that's not really gonna be what you're gonna flash back to um so from that i'd say that you know meeting of life is to make the most memorable experiences that you don't that you won't regret and that's also like that's also you know linked to what i thought before of like changing myself and just taking these risks that you don't normally take um, and then using that to better yourself. Just because, yeah, at the end of the day, it's not going to matter how much you have in the bank. It's not going to matter, you know, how many cars you have, stuff like that. Obviously, that would help some experiences. Not going to deny that. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just up to you, you know, what you've actually experienced as a person rather than what you have. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And yeah. that's pretty cool to work backwards to start from the end to know how to live at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>